Do you know faster, sir? Please. Please. Hello and welcome. I am George. Find me everywhere as always at George in the Meta. Today we're going to be taking a look at yet another early game. This one is from a dystopian sci-fi future. The game is called Shutdown and it is a top-down tactical shooter in the isometric perspective. There's going to be rogue-like elements and also in coming versions you'll be able to team up and play together. The version I'm playing today is super early so this is going to be a solo run that I will be doing. We're going to jump straight in and take a look at what this game has to offer. I've already played this once before and I had great fun but it was on a slightly older version. So let's see what has changed in this version and if it's something worth playing for you guys. Okay here we are let's go. Okay we are going to get through this sci-fi dystopian universe and kill everything. Don't know what they are. Oh. Bop, 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 bop. I really like the graphics of this game. I think this looks super heckin' cool. Get out of here! Oof, what was that? I like the uh, thing up here, where the gun is fully coloured when it's got full ammo. That's quite noticeable. Ow! My body. My body. My body. Okay, that's locked. I guess we don't go that way. Maybe these aren't locked and I'm meant to press a button against the door. Let's, let's try that. Buttons can open locked doors. Press F when standing to interact. <laughs> so the door wasn't locked. I just need to press the button to interact with it. What a spode. Oh, I didn't notice this before, but the camera moving, depending on where you are. That's quite cool. It's a good way to get around having the terrain blocking your view. I guess it could become confusing, though. Help anywhere? Can I go back and get some health, please? Are you health? No. I come in peace! Can we just be friends? Ugh, second stage cleared. I love the lighting that's coming up with my torch. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, this is a bit chaotic. Okay, swap. Where's the rest of them? Nice, too easy. Reload. We need to stay on top of reloading, I think. I think swapping between is something I did. What's this a shadow of? That looks ominous. Let's please reload. And have nothing to do with whatever that shadow is. Sneaky boys coming up behind me. Um, trade. Shotty, shotty. I'm starting to think reading is important so I know what I've got. Try and find out where I should be going. There's enemy coming from this way, so I'm just thinking we're going to go right there. Reload, please, reload faster, sir. Please. Please. Oh. Not ideal. They were not a fan of me being alive. I would love a mini map. Like uh, Diablo and Part of Exile style, that you can just overlay over everything. Just because, like, the map can be still like roguelike, confusing type stuff, but then you've got an idea of where you've been and where you potentially could be going. Like, I don't need markers saying please go this way, but something saying you've not been here already. This is where you meant to go. Okay, so unfortunately it looks like I've not paid enough attention, so I'm hella lost. Uh, and I don't know where I'm going to go. Uh, this game is fun though. I've had fun with this a brief time with it. I believe when they bring out more content, it'll be good. I'd love to see a Diablo uh, Path of Exile style map. Um, but yeah, fun game. Love the graphics, love the sound, love the lighting. Well, I may not be very good at this game, but I definitely had a lot of fun. I really do like the graphics, and I am getting more and more of a fan of this type of view from the top-down angle. This is the second game in this sort of view field that I have played recently, and I'm having great fun with both of it. Make sure you go and check out their socials and keep up to date with what the game is doing, because I look forward to when they release it that I can play with all of my friends. So make sure you go and follow me, George in the Meta everywhere. You can catch me on all my channels under that name, or you can go and take a look at Polkastarter Gaming or Polkastarter GG, where you'll find me streaming or hosting spaces. Until next time, I'll see you then, and goodbye.